right guys, so what you just saw is what we're gonna be making today. It's super simple. It's just like a glitch text and no plugins. It's super cool. Let's do it. Alrighty, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is come to your final cut and make sure it's just an empty timeline. Then you're gonna come to the top left where you see titles and generators. Um, go to generators and search custom. And you take it and just drag it on. Then what you want to do is you're going to want to go to titles and you're going to want to search custom again. And you do the very simple one and then you just drag it on. Um, you can just extend it to the end of the clip. Um, so as you can see, it's very basic right now. It's as basic as it gets. So first, what you're going to want to do, select the clip and add whatever text you want. So I'm just going to do jet edits because why not? So there's that. We're gonna change the font. One that I would recommend, you go to the very bottom, go up a little bit, and it's called Railway. It's already installed, it looks simple and clean, so it's just nothing right now. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna have your transitions open, and the first one right here is Cross Dissolve, so you're just gonna take that and drag it on um, the text. So now it kinda gives it a little fade. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the beginning and then we're gonna go out a little bit and we're gonna press Command B on your keyboard and then press space, space again, Command B, pause, Command B, pause, Command B, <laughs> uh, Command B, Command B, and Command B. So essentially what you've done is you've split your text into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different pieces. So what you're gonna wanna do is you see the first one, and then you're gonna wanna go over here to your effects tab, you're gonna open it, and then you're just gonna search Prism, it's already downloaded, and you're just gonna drag it on to the second one. So then you're gonna open that up, and I think it looks a little bit intense, so I'm gonna go to the effects tab and I'm just gonna take the amount down a little bit to like that. So this is what it looks like right now. You can see that it just goes right in and it doesn't look very smooth. So what you can do is you can go to transitions and add cross dissolve there uh, in front and then cross dissolve in the back so it'll look something like this. And if that was too subtle for you, you can obviously go up and then move the amount up. So I'm gonna do that to the rest of them if you guys need to see it again. So we're gonna leave this one like that. And then, yeah, I think we can leave this one too. So we're gonna go to this one. We're gonna get Prism. Drag it on top. I'm gonna move it a little bit. Um, go to Transitions tab, put Cross Dissolve in the beginning, Cross Dissolve in the end, so then it looks like this. And then the final one, we're going to the final one we're going to do, and drag it off, and Cross Dissolve it. So this is what it will end up looking like. Now obviously you can make it go faster if you want. You would just need to um, do less cuts and make them shorter. And if you wanna go an extra step to just make it look a little bit cooler and um, a little bit better, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna highlight all of them and you're gonna press Option G on your keyboard. And then what it does is it basically puts it into a new clip. So it combines all of that into one. And you, the name doesn't really matter, so I'll just name it Test press OK and see now it's all one clip but it's the exact same thing so the reason why I do this is so I can keyframe it to make it bigger so you're gonna go about here and you're gonna go to transform and then you're gonna press that up there little triangle diamond thing and then you're gonna come to almost the end you're gonna press it again up here and you're gonna go over here as you can see and you're gonna go to scale and move it up a little bit and if you want to get even fancier you can come to the one above it and you can give it a little bit of a spin so this is what it's gonna end up looking like
personally, I thought it was a little bit slow, so what I'm gonna do is come over here, and I'm gonna make it two times faster. So then you can just chop the bottom clip by pressing Command B on your keyboard. So now it's a little bit faster, and I think it looks way better. Hope you guys enjoyed this simple tutorial. If you want to see more of these, um, comment down below. And make sure you leave a like so I know. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.